out of Pixelmon. I forgot that Venusaur actually evolved at level 32. So we got a Venusaur. We evolved our Ivysaur that we got last episode. Pedal Dance. Oh, thank God. You're learning better moves. About time. Get rid of Double Edge. I don't want to. Whoa, this is weird. Hi, Venusaur. But hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here on Pixelmon. You guys reached the like goal of last episode. So we're going to do another, like I promised, we're going to do another, we're going to do this daily as long as you guys keep hitting the like goal. Today we're going to aim for 1400 on the dot. If we hit 1400 likes by tomorrow morning, I will upload another episode of Pixelmon. Um, what we're going to do today is, I have no idea, I just kind of came on. I think what we're going to go do, actually, I think it's time. I think it's time that we take on the, the first gym. Yeah, it's, it's time. And we got the Venusaur right, too, which is kind of awesome. I think it's in here. Where are you? Oh no. Venusaur right? There you are. Oh, that scared me for a second. Do I just throw you like that? No, I don't do that. I do do that. Did I do that? Give Venusaur... Okay, alright. Alright, I see you big dog. But today we're gonna go take on the first gym, which unfortunately I do believe is an ice type gym. Which is not the best for me. Which actually, once Venusaur evolves, I think Venusaur... Mega Venusaur gets thick fat. Which Thick Fat is an ability that uh, allows your Pokemon to take half the amount of damage from Fire and Ice type moves. Which, since Venusaur is weak to Ice type moves, it's basically neutral, which will come in handy. If I do remember correctly, the gym is, I think, over... Is that it? What is that new thing? There it is! I know it was around here somewhere, but what is that? What are you? It's a, it's a cocoa bean farm. Okay. How do they plan on getting that? <laughs> Whose base is this? Who set up shop around? Where's the... Okay, I found the entrance. Hi, Dad. How did you know my name? So we were over here once before, and I had no idea what this was. But Jerome showed me on one of his streams where the entrance actually is. That's a telescope. So it all makes a little bit more sense. I don't think the entrance was over there. There was a place that looked like Santa Claus on the other end. And you go through the very bottom, which it, it threw me off a lot. Because... That's a shiny Charmeleon. That's a shiny Charmeleon. That's a shiny Charmeleon. That means a shiny Charizard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the best shiny I've ever seen. Oh my god. I have 62 Ultra Balls. I want a Dragon Rage, but I'm scared. Two. Three? Oh my god, I, I really thought that was gonna happen. Attack was decreased. Do I have anything? I think Haunter has Nightshade. 34 def- I don't think four- I, I, I'm almost positive it has more than 40 HP. I don't want to risk it though. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm just gonna confuse Rayum. We have 61 Ultra Balls still remaining. It's like- Okay, there we go. We're getting some damage down. I just have to be very careful about confuse Rayum him more. Because I don't want to get him further down. Uh, I want him to take a few more hits on himself. But I don't want him to take too much damage. Oh my god, it's a shiny Charmeleon! <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. Two, three, four. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hand. I'm gonna go get to the spawn! We have to go see this. We have. We just caught a shiny Charmeleon. It's not the worst nature, but we're 100% using him. Sorry, Machoke, it's time for you to go. <laughs> I, I was, I actually caught another Charmeleon today because I was looking to see if I could find, like, an enormous one, and I caught a giant one. Oh, my God. That's a shiny Charmeleon. <laughs> my favorite Pokemon is Charizard. I'm gonna have a shiny Charizard. I don't like any shiny Pokemon I could ask for. That is the best. That is, I actually 100% mean, that is the best shiny. <laughs> I'm so happy I recorded that too. Oh my god. Come on out, Charmeleon. You're so awesome. Oh my god, I have to start training you. I have to start training you. I have to start, I'm so, ha I'm so happy. I'm so happy. 
Okay, uh, I'll be back. We're, we're gonna go train him before we take out the gym. I'm, I'm totally getting sidetracked right now, but it's happening. It's so happening. I'm getting this tiny Charizard. Oh, and 100% proof, there was no... You, I mean, you guys saw me... You, got, you guys saw me run into him. Like, th there was no cheating involved. There's no one else on the server as well. There's no cheating! That is literally the best Pokemon I could have asked for for a shiny. I haven't been this happy in so stupidly long. I don't even remember the last time I was happy. It's time. There's a Mega Charizard over there, and I need to take a bot. We gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? There's a Mega Charizard. You gotta take your chance at it. And Charizard doesn't have that good of a, a uh, move pool, so I don't know what's gonna... Is it? Oh, that's a fire. Okay. I was wondering what the flame was on the back, because that, that part looked like it wasn't shiny. Um, Or that doesn't look like it's part of it. Is that a shiny Mega Charizard, or is that... I mean, you can't capture them either way, so it doesn't matter. But I don't know exactly what it looks like. I think that's just a normal Mega Charizard. I've never seen a shot. Okay, it's red, which I think means it's the third best. Yeah, so it's 20 levels above. I sent out Dragonair just hoping to get the Thunder Wave off. Nope, Flare Blitz. Oh. That Flare Blitz might be really good for me. Wait, no, this is shiny. This is Mega Charizard Y, I believe, because it's got the Drought ability. Yeah, it is shiny. You can see it up here. Okay, um, Hunter, I mean, I don't have much I can do, Confuse Ray, what, okay, it's got Shadow Claw, okay, it does have a pretty good move pool, apparently, it's got Flare Blitz and Shadow Claw, crap, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take out this guy, um, Protect, <laughs> just cause, okay, it's got Flare Blitz, okay, actually, that wasn't bad because it stalls out a turn of the, the sun, uh, it is just, Okay, so the sun's out, so Razor Shell gets hurt. I think Icicle Spear is actually better. Because it's it's basically neutral because of the sun. Icicle Spear is neutral as well, but Icicle Spear does more damage. And they're both stab. Yeah, I think Icicle Spear is better. God, I was really... I should have waited till the sun went away on that one. God dang it, to send out Cloyster. Alright, Venusaur. We need to Mega... Oh, this is my first time Mega Evolving, too. Alright, Venusaur. Sleep Powder. I need you to hit this. Oh, he's like normal evolu- Oh, that's gonna get annoying. How long does this take? Was that a creeper blowing up? God dang it. Okay, Thick Fat didn't help there. Sun's gone though. Charmeleon. Smoke screen. God, okay. He's actually got a really good move pool. Uh, <laughs> Psybeam? No, dang it. Alright, that was a bust. The reason why I showed you guys that I didn't cheat is because when I first started capturing Pokemon and Pixelmon, everyone used to call me out for cheating. And I never did. I don't think I've ever spawned in a shiny Pokemon. And it actually bothered me that I kept getting called out for it. It's like, I play this game a ton. And like, how many Pokemon I see on here, it's not surprising to see a shiny every once in a while. I think, <laughs> I think the most infuriating thing for me was, uh... I, uh, the Pixelmon Cube series, the Cube Pixelmon series, that's what it was, uh, where I kept hunting for a shiny Magikarp and just could not find a shiny Magikarp. The easiest Pokemon to find a shiny of, I just couldn't find it. Would you take a look at these little cuties? He got some Eevee. The Eevee needs a new model as well, but oh my god, we got Eevees! And this one actually looks like it's pretty big. So we're gonna try capturing this guy. He actually looks like he's probably enormous. I, th I think the minimum he would be is giant, so this is perfect. Really? I paralyze you and you refresh. Okay, there you go. Yeah, just keep using tackle. That's fine. Dragon Rage shouldn't knock you out. I, I'm 100% positive that Dragon Rage wouldn't have knocked out uh, Charmeleon, but I didn't want to risk it. Like, there was no reason for me to risk it with that many uh, Ultra Balls. It's too... Like, if I dra if he had, like, exactly 40 HP and I knocked him out, or if he had takedown, I don't think Charmeleon gets takedown. But if he did have that, I would have been so upset with myself. I'd much rather just confuse Ray and let him hit himself once or twice and just keep chucking Ultra Balls at him. Oh, I'm so happy I got Charmeleon. And this Eevee is being annoying. Eevee, just get in the Ultra Ball, please. Thank you! I think I need to go and grab a Scyther. I think that's got to be one of my next goals. Or maybe we'll wait. Well, I don't even know where a jungle is. I want to get False Swipe. If I get False Swipe, it'll be so much easier to capture Pokemon. I hate everybody to throw Ultra Ball. Eevee's got a hard catch rate, too. Um, so even though he's paralyzing in the yellow, it's just not working. I don't have many other ways to uh, get him lowered. I might end up sending out Haunter here. But I sent out Venusaur 
just because I know Venusaur can take hits, and also Venusaur's got Sleep Powder, so if he does use Refresh again, I could get him, put him to sleep, which I think has a better chance of me capturing him than Paralysis, but I like Paralysis because it just sticks. But apparently he's got Refresh. I have gone through so... Oh, there goes Paralysis. I have gone through so... I'm just Mega Evolu... I'm just Mega Evolving, so I make sure that I can take hits better because my defense and special defense goes up. Um, there, <laughs> alright, there, there was a shotgun in the freaking game. Sleep Powder, it doesn't get, like, more accurate or anything. Wow, Covet does so much. I don't even know what Covet does. I thought Covet, like, lowered my special attack or something. Okay. Oh, my defense is lowered. That's why it's doing so much. All right, now he's asleep. We should be able to capture him, but I've gone through, I think, 10 Ultra Balls. Still, not caught him. Okay, I confused him. That might not have been the smartest thing. But I'm going to hope that he hits himself once, because now I can't put him to sleep or paralyze him anymore. So i got to hope that he takes a little bit more damage. So far, he's not, which is kind of okay, because I still think he's confused. So he only can hit himself three more times. Stop breaking three. Hit yourself in confusion, you jerk. Okay, he's in the red now. He just hit himself in confusion twice. If he hits himself in confusion one more time, I'm done. The more, the most he'll be confused for now is two more turns. So that's a little scary, but hopefully he just snaps out of confusion. Of course. Three out so the entire first time he he went through four turns of being confused doesn't hit himself once I confuse him again I think it was three out of four hi dad whoa 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 take a look at this so I just beat a boss Venusaur and they dropped the normal vines and sticks and I got a wither skull what 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 can I even do with this we're all peaceful is there any like, is that to re like, I can only get one Venusaur, right? Is that to replace it? Or was that just my loot for beating a boss? That's kind of ridiculous. It was just, uh, I think it was a yellow boss, so I think it was the lowest tier of boss. But that's the most random thing I think I've ever seen. Charmeleon gained a level or two from that, too, which is very nice for me. I need to get a PC. I don't think we're going to take on the gym today. I think we're going to save that for next episode, because we've already done... I mean, we got the Charmeleon. And I want to keep training Charmeleon because Charmeleon's going to be good in this uh, gym because it's all ice types. So I think I want to save that for next episode. Hi. Hi, Onyx. Wait, was that a Voltorb? Voltorb's cool. Voltorbs drop actually something really, really awesome. Dragon Rage should knock him out. Yeah. Let's see if... We, yeah, we get... I've never seen the Pokeball lid, but we normally get iron bases from them. I don't care about that. I'm not going to make a Pokeball, so we can just leave that there. Someone can come pick that up and be happy with it. I'm, I am I like my Ultra Balls. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Whenever I come back to spawn and come in this shop, I always get taunted by something I really, really want. I want a Scizor. Scizor, whatever. Scizor. I think I don't think it's Scizor. I, I've heard so many people pronounce it. I call it Scizor. I want him. I love Scizor. Scizor is one of my favorite Pokemon. Next week. A few days, actually. We should be updated to that. I'm excited for Gen 2. Like, I really am. Like, I want a Feraligator. I heard Feraligator got a new, uh, new do. Got a new, uh, to put, what, what, uh model. So I'm excited to see that because the last one was terrible. Um, but now what we get to do is I have 20-something thousand dollars. Purchase breed. I don't want hidden power. I feel like there's something that would come in handy that I kind of want. Purchase hatch. No. No, I can't afford that. Oh. That's 20k on the dot. Oh my god. That's actually... This command will show you the IVs of your Pokemon in the slot. Now, does that... I don't know exactly how this... What? We'll open up a PC for you without the item. Do I want the P heal? I want the P heal. I have to get the P heal, right? Hold on. First, we gotta prioritize one thing. We're buying from this guy, and we're getting an experience share. Oh, they upped the price on this. Or oh, I just got unlucky. Bye. Okay, we still have enough money. All right, the experience share is priority number one for me. Because that I haven't been using it, and it would come in handy massively. We have to do the P heal. I want the PC for... Well, I want both of these for when I'm traveling, but I've been saving up. Yeah, no, we got to go with the P heal. There we go. I don't know why I have to click it twice. Something goes up there. But we just spent... Let's see if we can... Yeah, it did. $20,000. Oh, I've been working on that for a while. I've been trying to save up just to see, like, what I could buy. And the P-Heal, let's see. I've, I've actually never used it before. Well, let's see if it works. P-Heal. 
I just bought it. Oh, okay, okay. I figured it out. I went through all the commands. It's actually Pokey Heal, not P Heal. So that does. I'm gonna have to remember that. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go double test this. Okay, Charmeleon's taken 11 points of damage. Great, we killed the Snorlax. Let's try it. I can just do up. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we gotta heal. So whenever I get to go wandering about, I don't have to do slash home. I, I, we don't have to slash back on this server, so I can't just like go home and then go right back, which is actually fine with me. I, I, I like this. I, I really, I think I got the two best ones so far. I think that pokey uh, PC one might be next, cause that would be so nice to like just be able to like, ooh, what's over here? Just be wandering around, capture a Pokemon, and be like, I wonder if you're good or not, and then just grabbing it from the PC and using it. Or just checking the stats, all that kind of stuff. That would be so freaking nice. What is over? I see lights. I don't see cameras. I see flashes. Who who lives over here? The infamous Griffin. Huh. Oh, Team Magma Man over over here too. Oh my God. I found a traitor. I don't like Zatu, but this is my opportunity to get Gen Two beforehand. How good is this Haunter? He is enormous, which is what I like about him. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yes. Satu is a... That's not bad. That's not bad. For a Zatu? Why is Zatu level 10? I'll take that. Like, I, I've actually been out here capturing Ghastlies because I was looking for a new Haunter. I, I want to get, like, an enormous good Gengar. Oh, hello. I want to battle you too. I want to get an enormous good Gengar, so I was out here just hunting, seeing what I could find. I love how I keep finding Venusaurs. Venusaurs are the easiest for me to knock out. Oh, thank God. Okay, I like just being able to get that off immediately. Dragon Rage! And just start chipping away with the stuff. And then I can easily one-shot with Alakazam. So we're going to go out to the Charmeleon. Send out Zatu. <laughs> Let Zatu get knocked out. And now bring out Alakazam. So my Charmeleon could get XP because... Oh, I thought Psychic didn't one-shot him. I'm like, Alakazam, you're a monster. You should be one-shotting him easily. Charmeleon, you're level 29. That's exactly what I want. I got a rare candy. Another Willer, with Willer Skeleton Skull. I wonder if I could sell that. Let's see if we could sell that. I got a rare candy, which is awesome as well. If only I had that Magikarp. Oh, that would be something. Of, why am I healing? <laughs> I thought that was the traitor. Um, but before we go... Well, I guess I'm, I had to heal eventually, but it's just quicker to do Poke Heal. Uh, let's look at these guys. Giant, dang it. I think this guy... I swear there's one that was enormous. Yeah, here we go. Impish, terrible. Okay, were any of you at least good? Lax, no. No, god dang it. I'm looking for, like, up special attack or up speed, because Gengar... Gengar's very similar to uh, Alakazam, where they're frail. They're not going to be able to take hits. You want to just get off as much damage as possible. Or, like, get off hits before your opponent. So yeah, that's the goal with Gengar and Alakazam. That's why my Alakazam that I love is modest, which is up special attack, minus uh, attack. Uh, who was I about to talk to? You. Well, any of them. Sell. Do you take Wither Skull? Don't. What can I do with these? We're on Peaceful, so I can't even release the Wither. I guess they're they're meant to make my house look good. Something else that I can do is since I have all these Ghastlies that I don't care about. Let's do this huge one that I really don't care about. I could just wonder trade them away. I love this wonder trading ability. 6 WT 6 confirm. I love it so much. Cubone. Not of course it's a Cubone with lonely nature. Not too into that to be honest. Not really. No. I'm going to wait till night and go looking for more gas leads cuz I really want Gengar. All right, well that's an interesting way to end it. I got a level 7 Venusaur. Hasty nature. An absolutely atrocious, uh, nature. Wow. Yeah, we got a level 7 Venusaur. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day of a level 7 Venusaur. Getting it through Wonder Trade on Pixelmon. But it has officially happened. But guys, I think that's all we're going to have for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. I'm going to knock out this Onyx really quick with Overkill. Although he's probably going to have Sturdy. Everything at Extreme Hills has Sturdy. And then you'll go up against, like, the Professor, Nerd, Dude, Scientist, whatever they are. They have Magnetons and Magnemites. All have Sturdy. Why, why, I, I, I knew, like, while I was doing this, I didn't have to go home to heal. But I still haven't gotten in my head that I can. 
next episode we are going to be taking on the first gym we are going to evolve our charmeleon our shiny charmeleon i'm so not over that into a shiny charizard which shiny charizard is one of the most i'm gonna say this badass looking pokemon in uh just shiny pokemon like a lot of them look dumb a lot of them look really cool shiny charizard is just awesome just like genuinely one of my favorite shinies i think my favorite shiny is still b sharp i just like him i think he looks really cool there is a shiny b sharp uh card in the tcg i think it was out of like steam siege or something like that it is awesome looking and it's actually playable too which makes it even like better it's really cool oh wait 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 one more thing before we end off this episode we have to see what we get from this thing we're at level 33 charmand or charmeleon evolves L oh this is level 59 Venusaur, go out there. Um, I was gonna say something. It evolves at level 36, so this should get us to 34. Um, I don't know if I can. I think we go to Dragonair and just try paralyzing him. We surviving. We surviving. It doesn't look like he's got that good of move move pools yet. Um, Dragon Rage would definitely do the most. I'm. I'm. He's level 59. There's no. Way. Oh, we surviving. Dragon Rage. We might be able to one shot him from this range with the psychic from. Alakazam. If not, and he knocks us out. Oh my god. I want him to knock me out. I want him to knock me out. Knock me out. Reflect. Yes. Dang it, you're supposed to knock me out. We have leftovers on this guy just because why not? There we go. Charmeleon, you're getting all the XP from this. Dragon Rage. How many levels? Okay, we only gained one level. Never mind. I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. We got a power belt, which is really good. And then, of course, the sticks and all the the great vines that are annoying and vines dead so yeah that's that's unfortunate but it's whatever and it's because i mean enjoy get out of here <gasps> you know go ahead oh look at i got a mega evolution thing on me what uh, uh band what is it i thought it was like it's a key a keystone oh hi oh wait there's one more th hold on yeah there's one more thing i still haven't knocked out a uh we're not done with this yet, apparently. I still haven't knocked out a Charizard. The only bosses that I've knocked out are, uh, Venusaurs. Why did I send you out first? Well, no, it makes sense that I sent you out first. I want you to get the XP. Heat Wave. Okay, that's not bad. Dragonair should be able to take a hit from him. And Thunder Wave. You can take it. Yes! Luckily, like, Dragonair resists so many random things, and it's amazing. Dragon Rage, get some more damage off on him. He should be easier to take out than Venusaur, although Alakazam isn't super effective on him, which sucks a little bit. Oh, but we're able to two-shot him. And we avoided the plays. We're going to get the Charizard Ike now. That's beautiful. And black glasses. Ooh. Oh, wise glasses, not black glasses. What's wise glasses do? I have no idea. Anyways, guys, get out of here. <gasps> You're not going to... Ah.